My name is Covenant and in this video, I'll be showing you how to work with the test to column command in Excel. Now, first things first, what is a test to column command? Under what tab can you find it and what exactly does it do? Now, when I come to my Excel file, right, when I come to my Excel file, for me to find the test to column command, I'll go to my data tab. Under my data tab, under my data tab, under the data tools begun, I'll find the test to column command. So once I over over it, we can see that the test to column command split a single column of test into multiple columns. Now, in this case, in this particular video, we'll be looking at this example. Now we have our full names, we have about 24 names, and we want to split them into a column called the first name and another column for the last name. Now, how do you apply the test to column command? The first thing to do is to highlight the column in question. I like the column that you want to split. Now, after lighting this column I want to split, we then go to our data tab once again, locate the test to column command and then select it. After selecting it, um, there are two ways you could actually split, right? You could either split by using the limiter or using a fixed width, right? But however, in this case, we'll be using the delimiter and that is basically because the first name and the last name that is separated by a character which is the space so in this case the space is acting as a delimiter right the space is acting as what we call a delimiter so take for example if the first and the last name add a hyphen in between them right the hyphen would in this case serve as the delimiter right because it is a separator but however in this particular example this scenario we have the space as our delimiter because that is what is separating the first name from the last name so once we have the limiter selected we then select the next now this is the point where we select the specific delimiter that we are that is that this is this the this is the time where we now select the specific limiter in question and in this case it is the space right and by default we can see that the space is actually already selected but if it is not selected you can just tick on it by yourself now once you tick it under your data preview you can already see that you can already see what you would have at the end of the day. You have Jolly separated by separated from Yame. You have Ali separated from Sherry. You have Olisha separated from Agago. Then we select Nest as well. And after selecting Nest, we have the destination option here. So for this destination option now, you just select this symbol you have here, this icon you have, to select the precise destination where you want your test to be splitted. After selecting that, you click on this icon again to go back to your test column wizard interface then after doing this you then click on finish once you select finish your test would have been splitted into the your test will have been splitted into the columns that you selected earlier right so this is majorly how to apply the test to column command right in this video we've talked about how to apply the test to column command and i hope you've learned 18 or 2 Thank you so much for watching, see you in upcoming videos, bye for now.